Coach, when the news broke out that Cameron was going to be out for the rest of the season, what's been the approach for this uh, running back room going forward? Uh, first of all, it was oh, man, I was disappointed because that kid has worked so hard to just with himself. Um, <clears throat> You know, he had a baby. Uh, his girlfriend's here. She's working. They were, he's worked so hard to get on track and doing things. And he he had the best camp. He was great. Everything was good. So, you know, um, kind of the same thing that all happened from Taj the week before, not playing, to him having to step up. And then Tuesday's practice, we lose him. And so it was kind of like, hey, here we go, young dudes. Let's get ready to roll, which those two – they don't know come here from Sikkim. They're going to do whatever you ask them to do, and they did it. So I'm, you know, I hate it. I just I'm still I, I still talk to Cam. I'm I'm, I'm sad for him because he's done so much for themselves. But you know he he's going to figure a way out of it, and we're going to help him. Coach, what, what impression about Jacoby that walking through, and then obviously got the end of the Oh season. my hell! First block, first play of college football, and he goes in and just crushes a kid. I mean, what <laughs> I don't know what could be better than that for a first time starter or player. You know, as a freshman. Uh, but, you know, he's done – him and Cam Dickey, like I said, I – once again, I keep saying I'm spoiled. I'm spoiled again. I'm spoiled with Taj. And now I got those two guys for hopefully four years. So, um, yeah, I'm I'm pretty pretty lucky to have something like that. Those two guys, they practice hard. They play hard. And uh, they carry themselves off the field just as, as, as you want as a coach. I guess what kind of role do you see both of them playing with Taj kind of taking the lead but then having – Same type deal. You know, um, you know, you got Taj who does everything well. Cam, you know, a little bit more of an inside runner, but can run outside. Um, Jacoby's electric with the ball in his hands, you know, in space. So, you know, uh, the Wizards, gonna, he's got his work cut out for him with two more, two more weapons to try to find a way to get the ball. So it's a good, good problem to have. With uh, Jacoby, especially given the fact that he played 2A high school football yeah. coming to this level, how has he um, – how quickly did he pick up the offense? Well, I, I got to be honest. I'll be the first to tell you I thought it was going to be hard for him just because, you know, the level he came from um, and just the physicality of it. But from day one, he has not shied away from contact. Um, he's very smart. He wants to know exactly all the whys to, you know, what we do as an offense. And then he goes out there and uh, practices as hard as he can. You know, like I said, the best thing that those guys have is they got Taj because that's what Taj – that's how Taj carries himself. That's how he prepares. They're doing the same thing Taj does. So, um, <clears throat> pretty fortunate to have that. How does the kicking battle continue? Well, we're 100 percent, so it's going to continue. Uh, those two, like I said, that they're doing everything. You know, they, they, they love – the coolest part about those guys, you know, as we, you guys are aware, especially it's a little bit different breed. And uh, we've, uh, we've, we've got a great group of specialists. Um, so those two, they just feed off each other. And, you know, Reese's going to get his opportunities. Gino's going to get his opportunities. Reese's going to kick off like he's been. And, you know, I got Stone finally to kick one right. You know, he's got a huge leg. That first time we put him in there, the first game kind of freaked out. So I want to give him another chance because he's another young kid that's got a really big leg. And I kind of showed he kicked the ball in the end zone as well. So um, I like giving everyone a shot. You know, these kids work hard to get a chance. And it's good to have a game like that where I could feel comfortable doing that. How blessed, I, how blessed do you feel having two rooms filled? Oh, I, I, yeah, like I said, I, I'm very blessed. I'm lucky. I'm fortunate. There's a lot of coaches, I think, that – um, pull their hair out. Obviously, I don't have any hair, so I don't have to worry about that. But um, you know, daily, I come. I love coming to work because of the rooms we have. You know, our specialists, snappers are great, and then you get through the running backs. And um, man, what a what a joy it is to be around kids like this. So, we've recruited the right kids. Have you guys discussed how you would handle it? Say if one of the guys misses a field goal, and I mean. No, I just kind of move on. I don't. I don't. It's you know. You guys know this. It's uh, they know it too. It's about it's about performance and you know whoever whoever that guy is. It's kind of a, you know, you miss a fifty something yard field goal. That's a different deal. You miss. I, I'm I'm kind of the hardest part of me is you know those forty yard field goals. Those ones we got to make. You know we kick a field goal under forty yards. That's the ones. You know you kick something over that. Obviously you guys know the, their odds go down. So that's not the. That's why. And coach has done a good job, you know, with those kicks this year. You know, we've we've given them opportunities to um, hit some kicks and get on a roll instead of your first kick being a 58-yard kick out of the box. And you know, that, that's that nothing comes good after that. And you said that they're pushing each other. I mean, sure, they are. But, but 
is there like you know, they know that it's also a competition at the end of the day? I hope they do because I've I've created a competition with them since last spring, um, but they don't act like it. I mean, they like I said, those two are, they help each other. They 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 hang out. They they like each other. So it's not a situation where you know you. I don't remember Roger Stahl back and whoever he got in a fight with back in the – Don, you probably know that better than I do. Back in the 70s, you know, it's not one of those situations. But, um, you know, I, I just love being around him. Coach, how do you felt about Josh Kelly as a punt returner when I think he got Dre in the game? What do you think? Yeah, you know, we're trying to get Dre some more touches back there because, you know, people ain't going to kick to him, and I don't blame him. But, uh, Josh, you know, we we got we to gotta work on some decisions. We've, we, we've That's probably been the biggest uh, – we got to help them um, blocking wise, but we've made some bad decisions back there. Now, decisions. When I say bad decisions, Josh is trying to make a play. It's a big difference of you know just not knowing it. He's trying to make a play. However, those that that affects you and uh, affects your your field position, which you guys know I'm a big deal on that. And so we've got to get better uh, helping him clear lanes, and then he's got to make better decisions. And then yeah, we're trying to get Dre, you know, just more comfortable back there. Um, so we'll see what happens. Hey, following up on that, in the Washington State game, the ball that Josh fielded at about the two yard mm -hmm. line, I mean, it looked like if he had not grabbed it and took off, that that probably would have been. Oh, well, it, he, it would have been. But, you know, generally, you know, you kind of go, there's a rule that we've got a, like kind of the five yard line rule. When you go past that, honestly, bad things happen. So you would have rather him. Yeah, I would rather just get him. Yeah. Yeah, you just got to you just got to live with that, you know. You kind of luck went against us on that type deal. You just you just don't want to get in the habit of doing that because bad things happen, um, and you know that's we just got to make better decisions. He knows that, I know that, but yeah, that, that's that happens sometimes, and you just you know good good kick by them. <clears throat> with with decisions, if you had a decision on a fifty plus yard field goal, which of them has the, the longer distance? Uh, that you know what they both pretty much the same. Uh, when it, they're both, uh, they both can hit a ball, fifty plus. So I, you know, once again, it'd be whoever's up, and then the next one, if if, if he makes it or misses it, and then that next guy's gonna get the next chance at it. So, <clears throat> does the process change at all with the two freshmen now that you go from maybe they might get a couple of carries here or there to we need you in this position now more? Uh, yeah, I think so. I think it – well, it also goes into, like, the, the type of plays that uh, Coach Kitley's going to run as well. You know, he's got some stuff that – there's some things that Dickie does better, and then there's some things Jacoby does better. So, um, you know, the flow of the game's going to have something to do with that as well and kind of what – you know, where we're at and what, what the play uh, dictates. So – but do I feel – I feel – 100% comfortable, just like I did going into Washington State right now with Dickie and uh, Jacoby. If something happens with Taj, that's what we're rolling with. Because um, you just, you know, you can't. I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna sweat about it. I'm not gonna panic because we got. I, th I think those guys are gonna be. They're. I mean, they've showed they can play at a high level. Dickie, you know, he's done it for two weeks, and Jacoby last week. So um, it's, you know, whoever gets that opportunity. You know, Dalton Merriman got the opportunity offensive line and. He took advantage of it, so I think same type of deal. Whoever gets a chance, man, you got to take it in college football and run with it because it's a it's a tough game. Was there any kind of a transition process for Tam coming from high school where he's primarily a running quarterback to seeing the field as a running back? Yeah, I think that's good. Good point. I was worried a little bit about that because you know when you're taking a snap, everything was he could. I think he'll tell you the same thing. He'd kind of run around and some of the teams he played against, you know, they could have not even had an offensive lineman. He was going to get four or five yards. Um, so I think it's it's more now of him getting on path and understanding where what our offensive line's doing, and where some of his cuts are, and you can't just break everything outside and outrun guys this level. That's almost that's really hard to do. So you're just trying to get him to understand where the where the plays are going to be hit, and uh, he's he's got the vision to to go wherever he needs to go. Who are some of the special teams mm -hmm. players that may not be getting that impact that have an impact, but aren't getting it on the score sheet? Well, you know, uh, Gage Elder, obviously, we have, we played a lot of guys last week. That's the good thing about, you know, when you get in games like that, there's a lot of guys that got to play. You know, Gage Elder is one of those guys that you always talk about. He's been here for, I guess, three years, never touched the field. Um, Wigington, another one, he, what a great kid he is. Works his tail off with the dead rabbits, and uh, he's the one that got to play. 
Uh, but, you know, there's some there's some guys. Uh, Trent Lowe's another guy that last year came out of nowhere, him and Chief Collins. They're making plays for us. Um, so, you know, that's what I love to see. Sammy Morris got shot last week. He's, he had never really played. Um, he got to, you know, he got some action last week. So, you know, it's uh, the thing about it that's hard with that, though, is those guys, you know, even when we use them, they got to step in and they got to make plays. You know, it's not, it's not, this ain't, it's not junior high or, or even high school to the extent where everyone gets to play, everyone gets a ribbon. They're, those guys got to execute. So, this because I'm throwing those guys in there, they still, you know, they still have to go make plays. <clears throat> Coach, in terms of the RB2 spot, is it a 2A, 2B kind of situation right now? Um, yeah, I think a little bit. You know, I think um, Cam, you know, Dish Dickey been playing in two games. Obviously, um, he's he's kind of, you know, he's, he's pretty familiar with the pass protection-wise and being able to run um, a little bigger. And like I said, then Jacoby's just a totally different weapon. He's more of a catch the ball in the backfield, get outside, um, do some stuff, and he's – you know, he's going to help us some on special teams, too, I think, before it's all said and done. Both of them are, you know, Dickey's playing some punt, and he was off returner the other night, and I think I'm going to start using Jacoby the same way on punt, uh, helping us as a gunner, and then some off returner stuff. So, you know, I, they're both going to get, you know, their, their reps are going to increase, obviously, the more we play, and um, I don't expect to drop off one bit for either one of them. Got time for one or two more. Uh, you mentioned Taj helping with these young running backs. What is his leadership style like? Man, it's impressive. I mean, he uh, he's – the thing that I love about it is he's, you know, I wouldn't say I'm nurturing at, by any means. He's probably a little bit more patient than I am with those guys. Um, he, you know, if I say something, he kind of follows me up behind it and will say, well, what he really meant without screaming at you is this. So – and those guys, you know, they listen. Taj is just – I guess I said Taj is going to be a great coach. I hope it's just I hope he's coaching when I retire, so they don't fire me to hire him. So I hope it's later in life. Um, but he's really good, just as far as you know, kind of. He's not a leader. He used to, like I said, he used to be a lead by example. Now he's getting a lot more into the nuts and bolts of the plays with those guys, and then you know, just kind of uh, past experiences. He'll say something that you know it happened in other games. Hey, watch out for this. If that guy rolls this way, this is what that means. So I mean, it's. It's impressive. It really is. It's hats off to him.